टुडे वी आर टेकिंग यू टू द धर्मराज का स्टूपा धर्मराज का स्टोप इज नियर टू दी टेक्सला टेक्सला इज द हिस्टोरिकल सिटी This is the plan of the Dharam Rajka. So today our main focus will be on the monastic area of the complex. This complex is situated in the north of this stupa. The name of Dharam Rajka was attributed by Ashoka the Great for himself, and the original stupa had been constructed by him. The current one being built later on. top of the original construction complex of dharmrajka can be divided into two parts the stop area consisting of the great stop and several construction belonging to different time period the great stop is accredited for being one of the earliest buddhist monuments Dharmrajka stop was constructed in second century. That is, were part of the eight shrines built in third century. In this area, you will find some large Buddha's statues made of lime. Over the years, it has been destructed.
will take you to the our concern area that is the monastery area and we will show what it looks like these days it is a great area let's have a look on it look at the marvelous walls the stones over the centuries they are still here but the personalities was here not here if the stones can speak they might tell us who else was here in which era of time and what was he is doing what was his contribution to the society and the coming generations with the help of google maps you can find a rectangular block this is the area looks like today there are about 40 cells constructed on each side of this rectangle and there is a rectangular courtyard in the center of these cells let's walk to the university the university who produces one of the renowned scholars of ancient times ashoka the great the alexander the great these personalities have visited this university some era of time and they spend some of their time here it is their idea to have a university like that on the stones and rayons of left and these ask us to think what has happened to this what happened to this institution why this institution was destroyed and destroyed over the period again and again sometime by white horns sometime by hilgis sometime by moguls this was a marvelous university by some accounts this place was considered to be one of the earliest or the earliest universities in the world the institution was significant in buddhist tradition since it is believed that the mahavana branch of buddhism took shape here javika the court physician of the magdaga emperor bimbisara who once cured the buddha and the buddhism supporting rulers of kosala are some important personalities mentioned in the pali text who studied at texla it is also assumed that the ankya was active as a teacher author strategist philosopher economist jurist and royal advisor ankya work like artha shastra was a noble book on his account bindu son of chandragupta maurya was said to have taught at texla university under the rule of ashoka the great a uh, university was a real uh, buddhist university and later on pinani who was a sanskrit grammarist philosopher and a renowned scholar also taught in this university 
all the cells have one or two shelves for putting lamps at, at that time and look at the construction of this all the stones are laid in a perfect manner in the center line there's a big rectangle stones and upper and down there's a thin layer of stones and making it very beautiful pattern look at this this is a beautiful very thick walls and now you will see the ruins of this marvelous monastery once again you will look at this courtyard in the center of this monastery and all around there are small cells for the residential purposes of the monks at that time in history very limited literature available regarding this institution hope you have like this documentary if you like this kindly let us know